Paddling TV is brought to you by Old Town and the new Camden family of recreational kayaks. Affordable but loaded with a richness of features not found on most rec kayaks. Check out the new Camden kayaks at oldtowncanoe.com. A brace is used to recover when you've been thrown off balance. And although you can use it while paddling a rec kayak, it's a much more important skill to learn if you're paddling a touring kayak. The idea is simple. If you lose your balance, you'll reach out to the side of your kayak with your paddle and slap the water with your blade. The slapping motion stops you from flipping and also provides the momentary support you need for your body to upright the kayak. There are two types of braces. There's the low brace and then there's the high brace. The low brace involves keeping your paddle low with your arms in a push-up position. As you begin to tip over, you'll reach out at 90 degrees to the kayak and smack the water with the back side of your paddle blade to brace yourself. Of course, you can't lean on this brace as your blade will simply sink and you'll flip upside down. So the key to finishing the brace is to drop your head and body towards the water to lower your center of gravity as you flatten out your kayak. If you're using a touring kayak with thigh hooks, your legs should play a large role as you'll pull up on the lower knee to roll your kayak back to a level position. The high brace works in the same way, only you'll be using your paddle in a pull-up position, which means you'll be using the power face of your blade. As you start to tip over, reach out 90 degrees to the kayak and smack the water. Immediately drop your head and body towards the water to lower your center of gravity and level off your kayak. If you're paddling a kayak with thigh hooks, you'll pull up with your lower knee to level the kayak at the same time. Despite its name, it's important that you keep your hands low during the high brace. This keeps your shoulders safe. 